Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. Holiday is still. So let's start and sing hello. And then we're going to make a special holiday box. Okay. Sing hello to everyone, sing hello to everyone, sing hello to everyone, sing hello. Clap hello to everyone, clap hello to everyone, clap hello to everyone, clap hello. And wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello. I wonder, are you the sort of person that likes to find things and keep them? And have you got the sort of grown up that says, oh, no, not another one of those. Or, oh, we've got lots of stuff already. And, oh, don't make a mess. And, oh, keep it tidy. Well, probably some of you are like that some of the time. But it's really good fun finding things and it's really good fun keeping them and it's called collecting so you can be a collector you can find interesting things and you can keep them and today we'll have a look at how you could keep them safe before we do that let's sing a little song about collecting okay and then we'll talk about what we might collect Let's go collecting, collecting, collecting. Let's go collecting on this fine day. What will we find today? What will we find today? And what will we keep today on this fine day? You might be the sort of person who likes to collect shells from the beach. Or maybe you like stones different sizes and different colours and you want to bring them home in your pocket or in your bag and you'd like to keep some of them maybe not all of them but you really would like to keep some of them make a collection of them maybe you're a stick kind of person sort of person that likes to collect sticks sticks that are different shapes and sizes or sticks that you might make something with one day all kinds of sticks or maybe you're the sort of person that likes going to the library and finding lots of leaflets. And you pick things up, bits of paper and card, and they've got pictures on them, and your grown-ups say, whatever do you want that for? And you say, I like it. I like colour. I like the pictures. I want to have leaflets too, like all the grown-ups have. Look at this one. I could make that one into a really good paper plane one day. And you want to take it home with you. And keep it safe. Well, if you've got something to put it in, maybe you could. Or maybe you're the kind of person who is lucky enough sometimes to go into the sort of cafe that might have crayons, maybe colouring sheets, and you haven't quite finished it and you want to take it home, or you have finished it, or you didn't even start, and you want to take those things home with you. Maybe you could. Sometimes in places they might give you a balloon in some shops and sometimes they give you funny little toys too. Or maybe you've got friends and sometimes you and your friends want to share your toys if you've checked that out with your grown-ups. Maybe your friend might have something like a ring. He might say, I've finished with this now, I don't want to wear it anymore. Would you like it? You might want to add it to your collection. And sometimes you have collections of things like birthday cards. It might not be your birthday, it might be somebody else's, but you like the pictures and you want to keep the cards because one day you might want to cut the pictures out with the scissors, but not just yet, you want to keep them. Sometimes you have a card that might be sent to you by your grandma or somebody in your family, perhaps an auntie, when they're away on holiday, you might have a postcard. And sometimes when it's been your birthday, you get badges that come on the front of cards. And you don't want to throw those away. But it's really good if you've got a place to keep them. That one's got number four on it. 
the dog, and that one's got a five. That must have been for somebody's birthday when they were four or when they were five. You might want to put those in your new holiday collecting box. So how are we going to make this box? So grown-ups, you can help here. Can you find a box? Could be a big, big tea bag box or a shoe box. That's a really good one to use. It could be the sort of box that you might have a delivery in or you might find in the supermarket. It's quite a good size, this one. If you don't want quite such a big collection, have a smaller box. And how can we make it look really lovely? Well, one of the things you can do if you're clever or if you've got a grown up who's clever is you can cover it in wrapping paper. It takes quite a bit of folding and sticking to make it just right. That's a harder thing to do. Or if you're a little person and you've got some pens like this, you might want to make a drawing just on the outside of your box, all ready to pop your things in to keep the house nice and tidy and keep all your things together. Or you might want to take a piece of paper and draw a picture with your pens. Maybe if you've got a few stickers, you might want to put some stickers on. And then with some help from your grown-up, you could use cello tape or glue. You might need to cut the picture a little bit smaller. You could stick it onto the side of your box. You could make one for all the different ends of your box. One in that place and one in that place, one in that place. Oh, look, this is the one that this person that Robin made. It says, Robin's box. And I think their grown up wrote that for them, but so that everybody in the house would know this is Robin's box, where Robin keeps her collection. And look, she's made a picture with her pens and she's put some stickers on. A bit like a road, doesn't it? Oh, look, there's a traffic light too. And steering wheel up here. And look at that steering wheel pretending to be the sun. What a lovely collecting box, Robin. What are you going to put inside? Oh, let's start with some stones that we found in the park. And that lovely stick that you had. Oh, what a good collecting box. Oh, mm, so many things inside it already. Wow. I wonder if you'll be able to make your collection box like that. I hope you can. And it would be nice to see some of them. So next time that we're on Zoom, maybe if you've made a box, you could show it to us. Or if you've got some things you've been collecting, you could show them to us. Let's play a little game now about the box. We've played this one before. It's where you pretend that your hand is a box. So if you look, you see, that's the inside of the box there. So there's the box, and then we're going to make the other hand into the lid. And we're going to say that something is hid, because that rhymes with hid. It means it's hidden inside. The pretending game, it's not a real thing. Here is a box, and here is the lid. I wonder whatever inside it is hid. Keeping inside. Why? It's a monkey without any doubt. Open the lid and see it come out. <laughs> What's inside the next box? What are you going to put in this time? Here is a box. Here is the lid. I wonder whatever inside it is hid. Well, maybe it's some deep. Why? It's some raisins. Without any doubt, open the lid. Mm. Take them out. Yum, yum. Nice raisins. You're good at pretending. I expect you are. So we'll do one more. Let's have a pretend car this time. Ready? Here is a box. Here is the lid. I wonder whatever inside it is for. Why? It's a car, a toy one that you can really drive in yourself without any doubt. Open the lid and drive it out. Boom! Boom. Beep, beep, beep. What did you have in your box? You could play that game. 
you could play it with your grown-ups or with one of your friends. You could have all kinds of things that you really want. Next time when you're out, you have a look and see if you can find some real things that you really like. You bring them home, put them nice and tidy in your holiday collection box. Well, good luck with that project. And let's say goodbye. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye from Claire and Judy in the Toy Library. Have a lovely day and enjoy making your boxes. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye. Bye. See you soon.